won't you look at that? Look what I invented. No, actually I didn't invent. Look what I discovered. Oh my goodness, this is a total game changer. Whoa. I didn't know you could have a uh, your flash running while you took a video. That's news to me. <laughs> Just think, I could film 24 seven now. You guys could have like 50 videos a day from me. Ad nauseum. Uh, anyway, do you guys know about uh, if it fits? Oh, it ships. And uh, yeah, I know about that. So here's a great thing. Like, oh no. My plan has been. We can fix that. Oh. There. Okay, there we go. All right, let's start over. Do you guys know about if it fits, it ships? Well, let me tell you. Oh, finally had to get my tractor out. Because all the low hanging fruit is gone. Oh, look, here's a bunch over here. So my daughter, who loves the fruit the most, Little Miss Muppet, otherwise known as Muppy, otherwise known as Mupp. She uh, has been on a few videos, probably seen her around. She's a famous track star at Dartmouth University. And that is extremely far away. And they grow wonderful apples there, but they don't grow avocados. And she loves all of my fruit, not just the avocados, but check this out. Here's the funny part. It's literally the farthest place away, just about to New Hampshire. It's about as far as you can go across the country. And the wonderful thing about if it fits, it ships, is that you pay one fee uh, for a box. This box is 22 bucks to ship anywhere in the United States. And uh, I'm not sure about Hawaii and Alaska and Guam and uh, places like that. But uh, I know the Mariana Islands. I wonder if you could get used to the Mariana Islands. Uh, but I do know that they will get to uh, New Hampshire for only 22 bucks. And I asked the lady how much it would cost if they, I think my flash just went off. If they, uh, can I turn it back on? I don't know. No, I guess it's still on. Uh, Ask them how much it would be, uh, you know, send it normally. Check it out. Guess how much, guess how much, guess how much? 85 bucks. So it's a great deal if your kid lives all the way across the country. And um, so we're going to be sending these wonderful little Cotto avocados, which is, I just got like, like buried in this year. This is so wonderful. Look at this. Uh, and I'm going to send her white sapote. And I'm going to send her prickly pear cactus because she loves to make smoothies from prickly pear. All right, well, let's uh, go get the rest of the fruit. Show you what that's like. Okay, party people. You must remember, hark my warning. Always pick prickly pear with gloves. See those little thorns? It's horrible. I'm going to let my daughter figure this one out. <laughs> I'll let her dethorn them. But if you try to eat these things without dethorning them, you'll have little tiny microscopic thorns stuck in your tongue all day long. Eventually they dissolve, but you know the color is so pretty. See the blood, look at the blood color. That's not my blood. That's the blood of the, the, uh, the nopales. So, well, not on nopales. Nopales are the leaves you cut uh, to eat. Like here's a nopale. You can break this off. You can eat this. You can either eat it raw. Let me try it. What does it taste like? Um, gosh. It's really succulent. Just kind of vegetable tasting. Mild. It's really good. It's like, not like a carrot. Maybe like a cucumber? Cucumbers kind of fleshy inside, a lot of moisture. Mm, good. Oh, well, there you go. What's interesting about this plant is that some places like in Australia where it's really dry, they'll plant this out on ranches and uh, cattle ranches. And then when there's drought, there's nothing to 
there's nothing for the cattle to eat. Grass is all dried up. They will, uh, they'll just eat this stuff as a last resort. And uh, yeah, so you could do the same thing. Put in your garden. When all else has failed, come out, just eat some Nepalese, have some fruit, and life will still be good. So anyway, uh, if it fits, it ships. The whole idea is it fits in this box, it ships. I don't know what these are going to look like when they get there. They're pretty soft. <laughs> yeah, might be a kind of a disaster. I had to ship all the sapotes and the avocados really hard. These are impossible to ship hard. So this is going to be a first time experience for the uh, prickly pear cactus. Uh, they're called, um, uh, well, figs. They call them figs. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, yeah, just prickly pear. There it is. Remember, if it fits, it ships. Finally figured out a good method, but it seems to be a really good method to get all the thorns off the fruit. They're like hairs all over. They're like, they're like a cross between a hair and here, I'll show you. They're like a cross between a hair, kind of like scary, hairy, Gary, and a fruit. And these things are just like microscopic. They get in your fingers. They'll be there all day. It'll bug you. It'll kind of hurt a little bit. And then eventually it'll dissolve because they're so little. But, uh, and even these things have little micro thorns on them, hairy thorns. And so the whole trick is to get them off without getting them on your fingers. I got these gloves here. I think I felt one little spot go in here, but I've been just knocking these things off in the in water. Look, there's like tons of thorns down at the bottom. That's what you see in the bottom here. This was totally clean. But I'm just taking them all off like this. All right. This is the last one. I want my poor little daughter to get um, thorned. So then I'm just gonna rinse them all off a little bit, throw them on the counter to dry. And we have a finished, beautiful uh, product. Uh, what would you call that color? A little help from the camera person? Uh, fuchsia. Fuchsia. That's fuchsia right there. The same color as the Golden Gate Palms t-shirts, especially after a year or two when they fade out a little. That's when they get really nostalgic. And that's pretty much how you deal with your prickly pear cactus. These are kind of soft. I don't know what they're going to look like when they get there. <laughs> Um, I think I gotta wash off all these now. Look, there's thorns all over here. So be careful, guys, when you pick them. See the thorns all over? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so, so we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna wash all these now and repack it. I should have put it in a bucket first. Separate the prickly pears until the thorns are gone. And then and only then take your gloves off and uh, pack everything up. And that's pretty much my recommendation. Like I still have some fajoyas. I'll throw some fajoyas in there. She's gonna be the happiest daughter on the planet.